Today we're gonna to be buying a live shark off of Facebook Marketplace. Now I know you're probably asking yourself, can you even buy fish on Facebook Marketplace? We'll leave it to the fish guys to find out. For the past few months, we have been scouring Facebook Marketplace and scrolling and scrolling to see if anyone is selling their live fish. And late last night, right before bed, I hit the absolute jackpot. I found a seller who listed multiple fish, including a 32 inch live shark. So is this even legit? Are we gonna get robbed, scammed, or are we actually gonna make a deal for an awesome shark? Let's find out. Now really quickly before we head out, I wanted to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now anxiety is something that a lot of people have to deal with on a constant basis. And it's actually something that I suffer with myself on a regular basis. And that's why therapy can be very helpful. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible for everyone. We all know therapy can cost a lot of money, but that's why BetterHelp actually has your back and they help you get that help that you all need. BetterHelp makes finding a therapist much easier because it's online. And just by filling out a few questions, they match you with the professional therapist in just a few days and what's super awesome about it is that it's super easy to sign up and get matched there's a link down in our description and it's betterhelp.com forward slash barbs buzzing clicking that link gets you 10 percent off your first month so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you starting therapy can be very difficult the right therapist for you might not be in your area and some people struggle with the face-to-face -face interaction there's the guard he just ate a pellet i told you he eats pellets <laughs> With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even via messaging if you prefer that. People spend hours a day in the gym every single week, so why not give your mind that same attention? If you're struggling, visit betterhelp.com slash barbsbuzzin to get 10% off your first month. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it. So if we are adding a shark to this pond, it'll be our first shark added. These guys gotta eat. You guys know the most aggressive thing in here is pots the bumblebee grouper. He eats everything we put in here. He just destroys everything. Barry, we don't need to worry about. Barry's our barracuda. He chills in the back. He's friendly to all live fish, except if they're really small. So he's pretty friendly in general. He likes to hang out in the back. He eats when we throw him food. But other than that, he's kind of chill and he just relaxes. Unlike pots who will eat and attack absolutely everything we put in there. Pans, this is very same way. If it flows down to the bottom, he's gonna suck it up like a catfish. So pots and pans need to get stuffed. The problem is we don't have any food. We don't have any dead food. And guess what the boys want to eat? It's the mullet run. We got to try to catch these guys some giant mullet and then we're going to go pick up our fish and hopefully be adding a new shark to the pond. That would be ideal. Ideal is adding a shark to this giant saltwater pond today. It'll be our first shark added and if it's big enough, it can definitely go in here. It's just the big boys that I'm worried about. It's just the big boys that I'm worried about. We got the eels that are doing fine. The green moray eel is super active today. He wants to eat a live mullet all to himself. The tessalata eel also wants to eat a live mullet to himself. So. We got big plans for these guys, and today it's gonna be an absolute feast. If we catch a bunch of mullet, we're gonna try to throw them all in live. That would be epic to see. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go out, catch some fresh fish. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do for these guys is the live feeding. It beats the, it beats going in the freezer and defrosting some, it beats going in the freezer and defrosting some tilapia 100%. So we're gonna go, right now we've got king tide, which means we got a full moon and the water is like two feet higher than it ever is. Ridiculous, so guys. it's gonna make it a little tougher for us to catch these uh, these mullet because Big boys. the net's got to sink a lot a lot further down. Okay, all right, all right. Unless we're on the top of the water, then we can scoop. Yeah, them. Yeah, then we can hopefully scoop them good. Run. We're going. We're running. Three, <clears throat> two. <clears throat> Athleticism, skill, knowledge, power. on your toes, footwork, ladders, karaoke. It all matters. Mm -hmm. PE Hit class karaoke. Hit matters. Hit karaoke. Okay, he, he, knees were a little high there, that's all right. No. If you guys did see in our last video, the mullet were absolutely freaking everywhere, or one of our last videos, and we were at the inlet, there was a huge giant vortex of them. That is the mullet run, and you only have a small window when they're around, but when they're around, it is absolutely electric fishing. The tarpon go nuts, the big giant barracudas go nuts, the snook go nuts, everything. Even the, even the black tip sharks are all feeding on that mullet there. So once they're here, we gotta capitalize on getting them. They're only here for about a month or so, and then that's it. They're gone, and they're, well, they're still here, but they're scattered. It's not like they're, they're super thick like they uh, usually are during this time. So we gotta capitalize while they're here. They're right here. Are you sure? Yes, this throw goes out to the British yeah? See them right there? If you actually, do you have the lens on it? Yeah, you can I see their mouths just going doo -doo 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 -doo. Just white, oh, of course the sun came. But those are literally, those are perfect. Okay, those are primos? Those are primos. Getting Jack from up here. Let's see how, let's rate his cast net throw. 
down in the comments after he throws it, okay? All right. Rate this throw, guys. Ooh. That, you know, that you know, back side you know, didn't really it open good, all the way. The back side kind of fumbled it. Backside Personal. did fumble, but you have to, you can't gritty it. Yeah, look at the net. Holy cow. That's when you grade the net, baby. All right, we got some good ones, dude. That's when you grade the net. Oh when my you God. When you got like that, baby. Ugh. Yeah. Time to go yeah. home, baby, one and done. Pots and pans, pots and pans, pots and pans. Look at those fish, guys, all mullet. They're still alive and thriving in the canals in the intercoastal. We're just waiting for a big pot. Pots on the and beach. pans, pots and pans. That's all I know. That's the only thing I got on my mind. Okay, pre, pre pull the net throw. I give it about 8.1, generous. 8.1, because it's kind of talking at the end. Post net throw, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's not blacked out, but can't beat it. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Post post throw. Post throw. Pre throw itself. Eight, eight, probably one. seven. Oh, okay. Oh, eight one. Eight one. It was good, and then the, at the very end, taco. Take that all day. Take that all day. Take some primos and get out of here. But you guys can rate it down in the comments. Go ahead, rate Jack's cast net throw. Dude, those are so, those are sucking. Those are primals. Look at this fatty right I know. there. So gonna go I know. Right that's gonna go right I think we try to put them all in live. So just the goal is to feed all these guys live to pots and pans. You guys been asking for it. You wanna just us to throw a bunch of fish in there, let them go nuts. Let's see just how crazy they go. I'm gonna try to get the GoPro in there. But these fish are succulents. But ow, sugar puff. What, what is I'm you, stuck. What is with you hurting yourself in every video? It's, I don't know, man. One of these days I'm going in the water probably. Rule number one with mullet, you gotta have the, the freaking lid of the bucket. They're leapers. Look at this, Earl. Oh. That's a hog, bro. You know how good of a bait that is? That is unbelievable. It's gorgeous. Un Watch this, see ya? See ya, buddy. He's gonna leap right out. Watch. He might get lucky, and if he leaps back in the water, no, that's Potts' meal, dude. One of these might go back in. Three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the lucky winner. Lucky number 12 is going back home. Okay. He's just telling me I deserve to go back. So one guy. So a non-baker's dozen. Just let, it, 13, let her go back. It's not 12, it's 11. She, she was lucky. Or, or he. Look at that. Blacked out. We're out of here. Lit him. Let's go. Quick mission to the start today. Feed the fish. Feed the big boys. Let's do it. The boys are getting ready for their first giant big live feeding. We haven't really done this. Dude, I'm, no, we've never done this. I'm pumped up for this. I am actually fired up for this. Look at these guys and look at those guys. They are ready. I got the GoPro. I'm gonna try to see if we can get some good footage with this. I don't know how I'm gonna do look it. Look at the size of these baits. If you put that on a measuring tape, 12 inches minimum. That's my guess. What would you think, Chris? 12? I think that's just a stud. It's just a gorgeous. You guys, ugh. it's a stud. If I didn't have fish, those things would be in the pen right now and I'd be tonight. Oh! Yeah, fishing. Fishing. All right, we're gonna dump the whole entire thing. This is gonna be insane. What did we come up with? We had a, a baker's dozen minus one? Yeah. 11. No, no. Baker's dozen's 13. 13 minus, oh, so we had a dozen. No, we have 11. Okay, we got 11. Let's so I'm gonna have to use my hand with the GoPro because I don't have a GoPro stick. So hopefully I don't get it bitten off. But well, we're gonna try our best here. We're locked in. Hey, Potts, leave Potts, it alone. Look at the fish. Leave me alone, Look Potts. at the fish, Pets. Yes. Yes. No, don't give it to him. All right, ready? We're going in. He's coming right at me, dude. Here we go. Potts is coming at me. Where am I dumping? Three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't see anything. They're in. Oh, he oh just my crapped God. one. Potts is crushing. He just clapped one. Oh, oh, I got it. Where is he? I got it. Go, 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 go. Oh! There he's scared in the corner over there. Dude, pins, oh, pins just grabbed one too. Holy crap. We got three good blowups from Potts. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh my God, he's that. folding them. He's folding them. Oh, oh my, my God. God, that's four for him. That is four. Pops we gotta see, we gotta seven. see an aerial attack. Chris, over there. Where? Over there. Boom! Oh, crushed! He's got a mouthful, bro! He literally has five He's got mullet. freaking mullet for days. And he's still oh going out there! God, he's he's chasing. still trying to eat. He's still chasing. Look at this freaking brute. That is savage. That bro. was insanity. That was a quick, like, good 30 seconds of pure insanity. Dude, he's still chasing. 
I Pots is literally still chasing, and I think he's got five or six mullet in his mouth. I cannot believe that. He cannot help himself. He literally cannot help himself. He's got that one pen. He can't eat anymore, and he's no. still trying to eat. He can't. He's just still, uh, still chasing, still looking. Look at that mouth. He's being on. A he can't even shut his mouth. He's got mullet coming out of it. And now here goes the green moriola. He's gonna try and get in there. He's gonna try and get in there and steal. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely just ridiculous. I've never seen anything quite like that. Look at that mouth. Oh, double twins. Holy crap! And he's still hunting. That's what insane. a savage. These are big freaking mullet and Pops just put about six or seven of them inside of his stomach. I mean, that is crazy. Drop that thing in there. I don't think he can afford to eat that one. That thing is massive. So now we've got a little school of uh, mullet right there in the back. We got what, one, two, three, four, five in here. Another one right down there. So they're gonna be hunting these guys at their own leisure. It's gonna be absolutely wicked. And uh, that fish probably just put on about two pounds of weight in about 45 seconds. The craziest part is I don't think Potts is done. I just put the camera down and he came back up and he was about ready to crack another one. He was completely vertical. As long as he's full and we can put fish in here that we're gonna be getting today, and if, as long as they're big fish, we'll be okay. Look at that, dude. He still shows interest, but oh, oh God, bro. I just don't think he can fit another one. So as long as the big boys are full, we can add fish to this pond and then they'll realize they can't eat them. So. It's a good thing that we just got these mullet. They got a couple more snacks to chew on, so we should be good to go. Now let's go get our Facebook Marketplace live fish. See what it's all about. We are on the way to pick up our fish. Now anytime you're doing this, you're meeting a random stranger. You have to stay, like, no, worst case scenario, you at least stay strapped. You have to. Just at it's least you protect even... yourself. If you're meeting a random person, it's, you gotta go to a public place, first of all. This is what we're doing. We're going to a nice, busy parking lot so we can yell for help if we need it. Take advice from the fish guys. Trust me. So, we'll see. We're on our way now. Got a little bit of a drive, but we will I'm be there pumped, soon. Though, bro. Let's hopefully he got some good stuff. So, could be something sick for the pond. You just don't know. This guy don't seems like a serious fish guy though, not going to cap. He does seem like a serious fish guy, and in my experience, we've gotten the best fish from just people. Like pots and pans. Seriously. We're not from a store. They're from they're just from people. My emperor snapper was from a person. Usually, people have good fish because they outgrow their tanks and then boom, we got them. Fish guy jump on them. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to our position here. The classic Walmart pickup. Here we are. You can't beat it, ladies and gents. I, I am looking know. forward to seeing some good fish. I'm trying to look out for his car here. I don't see his car. I think we're early though, which is fine. We're gonna camp it out. we're 13 minutes early. I'm supposed to meet him at noon. So we did talk to this guy before and he knows who we are, first of all, but he did say he doesn't want to be filmed. He doesn't feel comfortable being filmed, which is all good. I Respectable. Mean, some people don't like to be on camera all the time, like me and Jack, which is fine. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to, uh, Go solo mission, no video evidence. If we get, you know, punched in the face. If you don't see this face, video, we didn't make it out alive. That might be him in the, uh, in the red in the maroon. Right. All right, he's arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect, perfect. Let's go. Wish us luck. How you doing? What's going on, man? All right, guys, we got our three buckets of fish here. Totally not what we thought they were gonna be. We're a little worried about it. We're slightly worried about what is in these buckets, but we felt we're obligated to take them. We made the guy drive over here and we're like, you know what? Let's get these fish. Bring him back to the house, see what we can do with them. We're definitely worried about what's in here with the aerator. That is a worrisome bucket in there. But we're gonna show you guys everything we got. There is a really cool thing in this bucket that you, you'll see in a second. We are slightly worried, but we're okay. We have our fish. We're gonna drive slowly home and make sure these buckets don't tip over. We made it back. We have our three buckets. I think we're gonna start with this one because this is my personal favorite. This thing is absolutely sick. This right here is a Mexican dragon eel, I believe. It's some sort of dragon eel. It's not the Japanese one with those crazy teeth. He's gray and yellow, but he's super sick. I think he might be the coolest pattern-wise, the coolest eel we have in the pond because we're gonna be putting him in the big pond because the big fish, they don't really care about eels. They won't eat them. In rare occurrences when we're feeding, they will swallow the eels, but then they spit them up. They do not like the eels for some reason. So the big fish have no problem with eels and this guy is super cool. He definitely has the coolest pattern of all the eels in the pond. Right now we have the green mori eel and the tessalata mori eel and those guys are doing great just like this guy. He's pretty much the same size as the green mori so I think he's gonna be a perfect fit for our giant saltwater pond. Look how cool that freaking eel is. He's a chunk, bro. That thing is sick. He's definitely like probably the same size of the Grand Moria, maybe a tad bit smaller, but for the most part, these fish are absolutely stuffed and they don't mess with the Grand Moria eels. Even if they, we have seen him swallow the Grand Moria eel a couple times. Not on Just purpose, when it's though. feeding. Yeah, the Grand Moria eel, 
will have like tilapia in its mouth. He'll come and suck them down, but spit them out. For something that the eels do, they they're getting really slimy and slithery in their mouth. They get it out of there. So. So this guy's gonna do just fine, and he is so cool. So go ahead right now, as you're looking at him, drop a name down in the comments for what you guys think this guy's name should be. He's extremely cool, and I have never really seen an eel like this before. I don't know. He's like gray with yellow. That is so badass. He's sick. Wicked. That thing is sick. So drop down in the comments and name this eel right now in the comments. Like Chris said earlier, we've never come across an eel quite like this. And that's a lot of the times when you buy fish from other people, not only do you get them at a good size, but sometimes you come across some pretty crazy looking stuff, which is this guy right here. So let's add this brand new more eel inside of the pond. So sick. Look dude. at that tail. Nice He's and got slow insane entry. insane colors, bro. Nice, slow He wants entry. to stay in the bucket. There you go, buddy. Let's go. That, that is, is wicked. Sick. That is freaking wicked. He's down in the rocks. Oh, down in the rocks already shim. He's down into the rocks. He's found a spot already. Which is perfect. Way we down have in there. So many sick eels in this pond right now. We have the Tesla eel. He was a beast. He's just not very uh, outgoing personality. No, wise. not he aggressive. Doesn't like to eat or anything. He's not very aggressive. The Mora eel likes to swim along the glass. And now we have this dragon type eel who's super cool with gray and yellow spots. This thing is coming along real nice. So for a Facebook Marketplace deal, this is already, I think, a, a, a good score. This eel right here, uh, that's some money moves right there. You usually don't see these guys at the store, especially at these size. You always get the small stuff at the store. We're finally getting some bigger fish. We've noticed you only get big fish when it's coming from actually someone else. So Facebook Marketplace so far is shooting 100%. Now we're getting into bucket number two from the Facebook Marketplace deal. If you haven't already, go check out shopfishguy.com because we're doing a 10% off your first Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box. So if you love fishing, you want to catch more fish, you want a great deal on fishing gear, $60 value just for $39.99. Get 10% off your first box. Use code FGMB10. Get yourself a discount. Now bucket number two from the Facebook Marketplace deal is another pretty good one. Moving right into bucket number two is something that we actually come across very often at the fish stores, but it's always tough to come across one this size. Now, this is a lionfish. I believe it's a volatile lionfish. There's many different types, but I still think that this one is probably a bit too small to go inside of the saltwater pond. He's gonna get munched. He probably would get munched. Although he is a freaky looking fish with those big spines, I have seen videos of people literally groupers, snappers, sharks, literally eating lionfish off spear poles. The fish don't really tend to care. I guess I they can't why, get stung. Dude. But I that is a suit, yeah. There. I wish we could put it in there too, but we could definitely probably get this guy pretty big relatively quickly. Still a super cool fish. They kind of just sit there and they don't move very often. But let me tell you what, when they want to attack, they attack. And this guy's got some cool color. Once again on the ad, I mean, some people don't know how to measure, okay? The measuring is, is slightly off. This guy, yeah, we, this I was is... expecting him to be much bigger. He's like eight inches. Yeah, eight to 10. Eight inches. I, he was supposed to be like, you know, 17, 18. Big stud, fatty. Instead, we have skinny mini who's uh, kind of small. So I wanted to put him with the big boys. I want fish in there. There, there, there lies the problem that we always have. Uh -huh. We can't get a lot of fish for the pond because the pots and pans will eat it. So I need you guys to go down in the comments and write a comment down below what you guys think, honest opinion. Pots and pans are a problem and we wanna get more fish. So should we get rid of pots and pans to get the more fish or do we keep them and just let them, you know, keep going at it and eating everything we put in there? Cause they're a big issue. So let us know in the comments, keeping pots and pans or finding them a new home so we can get some more fish. All right, here goes this stunning lionfish right here. Crazy, crazy colors and patterns on him. Hey, get out of the bucket, will you? There he goes. Nice smooth entrance right into the pond. That is wicked, my friends. That is wicked. He should be good in there for a while. Now it's all about just getting him big enough to actually go into the pond, into the big saltwater pond without getting eaten by the giant groupers because they are a problem because of the smaller fish, they can't go in there. Fish number three, herein lies another problem that we are having. The ad or the listing on Facebook Marketplace said 32 inches. Now Jack, is this 32 inches? Unfortunately pick him up not. Him. Jack picked him up and hold him, and as you can see, he is a much I'd smaller say he's shark. Like 20. He's a much smaller shark than 32 inches. He is not big enough. I think a top of a bucket's 12 inches. And he's rat. I say he's about 21. I, I know, no, I'd say he's about 20. I'd say he's about not less than that. Really? Because his tail doesn't go all the way to his head, so it's gotta be less. Yeah, but that'd be 24. This is 12. 
Oh yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. So, true, true. so he's like twenty. He's toil. I say he's about twenty. Twenty. Yeah, twenty. We could have we, we could have used the other twelve inches. We could have used the other twelve. We could have used the other. Couldn't 12. have us all. Once again, I don't know if this shark can go in this pond. He might be able to. He might be. Able he to. might, but I, more than likely he's sauced. You think? He's a sausage. Mm. You're hungry first thing, it's evening time, you're hungry, you, you're looking at a nice sausage right here. I don't know. So once again, we're risking it again by putting a smaller type. This is a big fish, 20 inches. Even 20 inch shark, you don't still, see this at a fish store often. No, that's right? still a Rare. big shark. Can't go in the pond. So once again, we need to, we're stuck with trying to find the biggest things imaginable to go in this pond. And those are the hardest fish to find, the big ones. Agreed. Even my Emperor Snapper, I've had him for almost three, two years. He's still not big enough to go in this pond. They are so hard mm -hmm. to get to the size where pots and pants won't suck them down like a freaking jelly bean. Although it is a super cool shark, I just don't think, like, look at this mullet. That's a big ass mullet. <laughs> He's about 14 Pots, inches. Pots will swallow that thing whole. The only way that you guys are gonna have to let us know by dropping a like on this video, hit the like button right now. I know a spot offshore where I have caught literally sharks. I forget what they're called. They're like kind of like smooth hound yeah, sharks. Yeah, they're like a, oh my God, I forget. Where you can catch them. They're, they're like big. a white tip. They're not a black tip, they're like a white tip. It's a sick shark, a reef free shark. swimming and they're big. Bigger, than, way bigger than this. Let us know by dropping a like on this video if you guys think we should go out to the patch reef, that's where they are, and chum for these sharks. I've hooked them before, I just, we never landed it. So, we can definitely catch sharks and I think that's the only way. We gave it a shot by trying to get a 32 inch shark on Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Obviously, didn't work out. Not correct in the, uh, the listing there. So we're gonna have to take it into our own hands and get a shark for ourselves by catching it. And we know a spot, so the next flat calm day, we're out there catching sharks, trust me, for this pond. So Jack and I have not decided what we're gonna do with the shark yet. I have a pond, I have two ponds to put that I could put them in here. We got some uh, aquariums and ponds at the house that we can put them in. We haven't decided yet, so we're not gonna make any moves right now, but he definitely has a place he's got to go. Some, yeah, he's got a place to go, that is for dang sure. I think it was, uh, it's a cool shark. You don't come across them at this size very often. Like I said, if we didn't have pots and pans, which break our heart to get rid of, but I think it would, uh, Open many doors to uh, some more content, some better fish, and a whole lot more. So let us know down below in the comments if you guys think, you know, we should make that decision. But cool shark, couple other really awesome fish. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Be sure to go check out fishguide.shop to get yourself some fish guide gear. We'll catch you all in the next one. Later.